Call the meeting to order. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for coming, everybody. So nice, maybe we should have had this meeting out in the park. What do you think? <laughs> Under the splash pad? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I won't say. Uh, roll call, please. John DeBoyer. Here. Maureen Borey. Here. Mark Bouchard. Here. Artie Bryson. Here. Christy Hilton. Here. Chris O'Regan. Here. Cindy Valentine. Here. All right. Looks like we are all here. Supervisor Bryson, could I make a, a motion to amend the agenda? Sure. I would like to add a 1L, and that's discussion of, of a pickleball netting. I, uh, I happen to receive some quotes after our agenda was printed, and I'd just like the opportunity to talk about it. OK, that's for a pickleball. Netting. Netting. Screen. screen. Yep. Support. OK, Thank we you. got motion and support to amend the agenda. Any discussion? Hearing none. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 And oppose. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, first thing on the agenda, we have a public hearing for our general police uh, fire mills rage, rates and our garbage fees. I'll uh, entertain a motion to open up the public hearing. Board, I'll make a motion to open the public hearing for the general police, fire, mill rates, and garbage fees yes. at 6.02 p.m. Support. support. Okay, we've got motion and support. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 And I oppose. Motion passes. So I will open up the public hearing for our general, our police, our fire mill rates and garbage fees. If anyone wants to come up and make a comment or anything? Now is the time. <clears throat> I will say that um, the police and fire rates are the same, and the, and the garbage rates are the same. Uh, actually, they've been the same now for 10 years for our garbage, and our general is going down just a, a bit. I can't remember exactly, like a couple hundredths of a mil. Any uh, comments? Going once, twice, three times. I'll uh, entertain a motion to close the public hearing. I make a motion to close the public hearing on the general fire mill rates and garbage fees at 6.03. Support. A motion to support. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. All right, next we have our bills payable. Entertain a motion. Yeah, board, I'd make a motion to support and approve bills payable in the amount of one hundred and sixty-two thousand three hundred and twenty-six dollars and eighty-four cents. Support. Yeah, a motion support. Any uh, discussion? I um, still have a question. I know a lot has been going around about the San Susi um, pump out. And I just had a question of who is the license hauler for the wastewater that leaves there? Because the previous owner used to have their own truck, right? Mm -hmm. So they bring it. And uh, I know Southwater says they charge them for receiving the water, but who actually hauls it? They have a contractor okay. to do it, an okay. independent licensed contractor to do it. So okay. I, I do think we addressed this before. It's basically money in, money out. Right. It, it just was confusing because Bob Coombs wrote this letter saying that he paid um, $4,500 in, in pump-out fees, and it was going to be ten grand a month in the summer. And then I see Reynolds say 1800 So the must, rest must go to their hauler? Apparently, I, that's out of our, okay. our you know, all right. It's, All right. Well, what they, whatever they pay their hauler to do it. And you can show me, like, if I come in, I can get the accounts 
the proof that we got the money in, right? Sure. Okay. I'll see you in the morning for that. Thanks. Any uh, other comments? Bills payable? Hearing none, roll call. Morning, Boy. Yes. Mark Bouchard? Yes. Artie Bryson? Yes. Christy Hilton? Yes. Chris O'Regan? Yes. Cindy Valentine? Yes. John DeBoyer? Yes. Okay, motion passes. Uh, wow, already. Supervisor's report. Uh, I've been dealing with a lot of building blight and drainage issues. Well, boy, that water is going down, like big time. Um, and uh, working on our scrap tire grant, filling out the paperwork, that's always fun. And um, still working on issue, or working on road issues and funding for the Bayview Shores Bridge replacement. The Blue Bill Bridge replacement um, is, uh, I was just down there, I talked to them Friday. Uh, they're getting ready to, to put cement on the deck and uh, I think the, they're scheduled to get it tomorrow, the cement. Um, and the contractor is still saying he should be done in about three and a half weeks, four weeks. So it looks like that's moving along pretty good. As a part of the water main project, that we're going to replace the water main along M29. Um, the DDA, at that time, they wanted to fill in the ditch on the other side of the street, on the south side of M29, uh, between like Muskrat Run and, and um, Esther Green here, or, or actually uh, Island Drive. And um, we're trying to get a permit with MDOT and um, Eagle to do that, and uh, they just won't let, it, let us do it. Um, they put on so many restrictions and I, I literally was going back and forth with them for a good week. Um, and um, they're, they're not, they made it so we, we can't do it. And I, I, Eagle has a new term now. We all heard of the 50 year flood level and the 100 year flood level. Well, they said this would have to be at the, shoot it. This would have to be. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> I gotta go, they're coming in. Yeah. This, this would have to be literally at the 500 year flood level. Never heard that term before. And apparently, the 50 year flood level is, or the 100 year is a foot above the 50 year. The 500 year flood level is a foot above the 100 year flood level. And uh, so I informed the DDA about this last week and we're looking at different alternatives, what we could maybe do to make that ditch nicer, more appealing and user friendly. Uh, they, they have a material that they can lay out with rocks and seeds, seeded grass, you know, along the sides, maybe that, I don't know. We're gonna look at it, so, for the DDA. So that, that was kind of a bummer. Um, the playscapes in the park is, uh, are finished. Um, they still have to install a bike repair kiosk and a small punch list of things to do, address the heights of the swings and a few other things. We had a red ribbon cutting ceremony. It was a great success, well attended. And uh, ever since then, the playscapes have been busy with um, you know families and. It was great, it's just great seeing it used so much. So, a lot of great feedback on that. The playscapes that we donated to Browns Field are scheduled for installation in October. I, I think it, they said they're gonna be there October 7th. So, and that's all in place and ready to go with the contractor. I actually talked to, to the association people Saturday and they got a crew ready to get the prep area. And they're actually going to move it into a different location to where the existing one is. So that should be going good. The Colony Tower painting they, uh, and makeover, they actually finished it today. I went over there, did a little inspection, and uh, the guys, 
they're, as they're going down the ladder, they're actually painting the ladder <laughs> as nice. they're going down. That's crazy. Man, that's high up. I was up there, but man, I, if you saw them, they're painting the roof. They're hanging from a rope with a roller. That's nuts. But the, the painting portion's done, and we'll be in contact with uh, a local contractor who's going to do the cement work uh, at, the, at the base of it. Um, I got to change my supervisor's re report. It says, still working on the permits for the algae treatment plant. Friday, received an email, and we received our discharge uh, permit from Eagle for the plant. That's the biggie. And uh, came in, in in great shape. I uh, actually have a, a phone co uh, a co phone meeting tomorrow with some of the engineers, and we're going to see how we what we, steps we need to go forward. I was going to bring in the uh, to approve the POs for for all the equipment. I just had one issue. They didn't spell out uh, who, who paid. We're going to prepay it pre or buy it, and they're going to store it for us until we need it. But it was unclear who pays for the shipping and from where. So that was the only question I had on it. But uh, so that's, uh, that, that's a huge, huge step um, towards uh, everything on, on, on this thing. So um, yeah, that's great news. So um, I don't know if you guys remember LJ. He's a young man that had the... Um, it's called Angel Nun Syndrome. Mm -hmm. They are doing, uh, uh, this was a great story. He came to us, his mother, brought it to our attention, said, hey, we want to recognize this situation for him and uh, maybe get a sign, you know, warning that there's a, um, a, a disabled person on the street and everything else. So we passed a resolution of the awareness. Well, we sent it up to the state, and it, it snowballed. It um, the the state of, or, or the Senate passed the same resolution, and as the House of Representatives passed the same resolution, went to the governor. She signed it, so it's a statewide um, recognition now. And um, why well, we're bringing it up. Um, LJ, they, they started a, um, um, a foundation called LJ's Wings, and they're doing a fundraiser. Uh, it is where I it's at the Detroit Zoo, September 22nd, and the tagline is, "Sometimes even angels need help to help to fly." And they got some T-shirts. I know Cindy and. You guys and Chrissy's got their T-shirts on. Yeah, they're really cute. And it has a picture of LJ with his wings. So, uh, this actually means, I, sorry, this is pretty cool stuff. So, this is a statewide initiative. The DDA wanted to put some um, wings where people get selfies uh, t taken uh, in our park, of, uh, uh, painted. And this is before the LG or the L, the LJ Wings thing came up. So the the DDA we're going to ha they're going to have a set of wings painted just like in, for LJ just like his uh, wings that they uh, they have, and we're going to call it LJ's Wings. We'll have a little QR code so it'll go right to their foundation, and we'll have that out in the park. I don't know. Hopefully this fall, and. Um, uh, when I, I told the mom about it, she broke out in tears. And I'm fighting them back right now. <laughs> um, but it was a great, great foundation. And if you met this, this boy, he lives on Anchor Bay Drive and really special. So that's what community is all about. Um, <laughs> seriously. Let's see, we had our last music in the park over at Browns Field Saturday, along with their fall barbecue. There was a last minute cancellation on the band we had scheduled. We got another substitute band. They were called uh, Blind Justice, and they were great. They did a good job, uh, and their food was great. 
fall pickleball leagues is going on. Uh, not too late to join. Thursday's women leagues from 5 to 8 p.m. Men stay away from it that day. Um, Tuesday's beginners classes is that's where I would be between six and seven every Tuesday night, and it's free. Uh, begin then when they do beginner beginners open play from seven to nine or eight. So if anyone wants to learn how to how to play it, show up uh, Tuesdays evenings. And just want to remember everybody, remind everybody the the. Fall, uh, the fall cleanup weekend is September 21st on the mainland on Harsons Islands, the 21st and 22nd. We do another day over there because they got a lot of cleaning up to do. So that's why I, all I have for that. Um, public comments. Do we have any public comments? Any public comments? Just come on up and state your name. No public comments? No public comments? One more public comments. Okay, we'll keep on rolling here. The consent agenda, I will entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve the consent agenda with the minutes of the board meeting of 9-3-24. August payroll board approved bills from 9-3 of 24 and in between meetings from 9-3 to 9-16. So Support. I Okay, we got motion support. Any discussion? Yes, on uh, 829, check number 01423, Chuck Hurst for $2,500. That's for, we pay him to uh, haul the garbage off of uh, Russell Island. Okay. It's part of the garbage contract. Probably asked you that before. Yep. And, uh... I was wondering on the in between checks about the PC for the crisp in the access site. Is that all about? Is that the uh, Chris? Would you like I to, uh, since you came in about that? I yeah, I, I can help with that. Yeah. If I may, um, Lauren had the same questions, and uh, twenty-five grand. Yeah. Yeah. What happens is when they put this into the BSNA program, um, it lists under the description the first invoice you put in. So this is actually a group of invoices from PCE. Um, there are, I believe, five total invoices, uh, of which they were board approved. Um, so what, what's happened is we've approved these in prior meetings. Um, the only crisp and access site, I believe that invoice was $1,390. So the 1390 is applicable to the Crispin Access site. The other four invoices um, had to do with various uh, sewer lining, sewer interceptors, and other projects that PCE is helping the township with. All right, so that's the other four are the 24,000, okay, for sewer. No, it was 1390 of the 25,000. Right. Of the twenty-five forty, he saw the other twenty-three thousand five hundred is sewer lining. Yeah. Yeah. But again, the description is misleading, right? Because that right, right. Because I'm like, yeah. twenty-five grand for Christmas access doesn't sound right. So what I did, yeah, and what I did is I went in and, and and talked to Cindy about this, and you know we were able to pull the reports, and and with our uh, deputy clerk Janet Garaga, we were able to hone in on where these hit, how these hit, and okay. it was ensuring to know that they were all board approved. We've done so that with other uh, PCE billings. A lot, like a lot of billings. Yeah. We have, and, 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 and sometimes they just get grouped and, and it's a little mis misleading. So I, I was under the same impression, so I went into the office and got some clarification. So thank you. You're welcome. J just thank like you the time when we had a uh, Five hundred dollars for clothing allowance for the police, and everyone thinks we spent five hundred dollars for a suit because that was all same thing. For example. Yep. Example. All right. Any more questions with the consent agenda? I got one. Uh, can you get a dog license here at the township? Yes, you can. Not uh, a brand new one. 
Not a brand new get one. Get your renewal here. Well, mine was a renewal. I said I had to go to St. Clair. No. So no. take care of that. Thank you. It should be right on your renewal. It shows all the different locations that you can yeah. renew your dog license. Well, I, I got it, but it's sad. Uh, no, we do it here. Okay. All right. I'm sure that had a lot to do with our consent agenda. <laughs> Well, I got it written down right here. All right. <laughs> All right. Moving right along. Anything else on the consent agenda? Hearing none, all in favor of the consent agenda signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Me. Okay. With the record show, we had one person opposed. Yeah, it says dispersed auto license over there. Okay. Uh, new business DPW purchase of meter yokes. Total of $43.96 and $25. <coughs> I agree. <laughs> so we have a bill here for 40 plus shipping. Yes, there's shipping on there. Yep, okay. Got We're it. looking to get these for repairs and new services as they come in. Yep. We've been using quite a few for repairs because some of the valves have been going bad on top of them. They've been leaking, so. So we're right. reading that right three quarter inch yokes? No, these are one 20, inch. huh? These are one inch. Okay. So that's 25 three quarter inch. So it's 25 three quarter meter yokes. Okay. On the quote, you've got both. What's the quote say? One inch. No. Yeah, it's got both one inch and three quarter. Okay. My mistake. Oh. Both. One. All right. So. Uh, that I'm sure we'll we'll definitely need them when we do the water. Lance, what what's yeah. the shipping turnaround on these? Expected ship date? Usually about three and a half months. Yeah. That's the problem. That's why we need them. I'll entertain a motion from somebody. I'll make a motion to approve the purchase of the meter yokes in the amount of four thousand three hundred ninety-six dollars and twenty-five cents from line five ninety-one seven forty-six. Support. Motion to support. Do we have any more discussion? No. We good. Okay. All in favor of uh, purchasing the meter yokes, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thanks, Lance. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Next, we have the uh, fire, the annual fit testing. Uh, we do this every year. That's why it's called annual. And it's, we got a quote for $4,931. Anybody have any questions for Chief on this? Let's make sure their mass fit is good. It's Has this gone up from last year? Um, has it gone up, Chief? Uh, it did go up a little bit. A little bit. Not double, anyway. Chief, you might as well come on up. You're up here for the next couple, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Chief Rose, is it the uh, same vendor yes. you've been dealing with? Yes. The biocare? Yes. They come right to the fire department. They come in, they start at 11 o'clock, and they leave about 6.30. Uh, we have a second party come in to test our, our personnel. Uh, we could do it ourselves, but um, I feel that we need to have somebody come in that knows how to do it properly. They fit the person properly with the mask. They also do a counterfeit test for the N95 mask, and we also do a pulmonary function test, which I can't do. Along with the teeth test. I'll make a motion to approve the BioCare annual fit testing uh, for the fire department for four thousand nine hundred and thirty one dollars out of line number two zero six nine six two support motion to support any more discussion hearing none all in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. aye. anyone opposed motion carries <clears throat> next we have a request to purchase some turnout gear for our fire department uh, for $12,958.80. This is four of them, right? Is that what I read? Four sets of gears. Yep. Um, we're getting a better deal on it this year because of um, the state had a, uh, uh, for full-time full firefighters, 
we're getting money from the state because of the um, a union uh, fund that they had going. So the vendor that we used to purchase this gave us the same break as they did the full-time department. This is the same uh, vendor that we bought our fire truck from, yes. and that's why they're throwing us a bone. <clears throat> so, Chief, you'll have to... Uh, check with Christy and I sometime this week because I believe this line only has a budget of 10000 so we'll have to do some adjustments within your yep. complete department budget to cover that. Okay. There was one in there that uh, I was not sure I probably should have checked with you for personal equipment, but it was for purchases under uh, $5,000. So okay. That, no, but we can do some, uh, some adjusting within the department. That's not a big deal. We just need to make sure we do it, that's all. Any other questions? I'll make a motion to approve the fire turnout gear in the amount of $12,958.80 from line 206-970-01. Support. A motion support. Any other questions? Hearing none, roll call, please. Mark Bouchard. Yes. Artie Bryson? Yes. Christy Hilton? Yes. Chris O'Regan? Yes. Cindy Valentine? Yes. John DeBoyer? Yes. Maureen Borey? Yes. Okay, motion passes. Thank you. Next, we have hire part time William Savalli. Okay. <laughs> Him. <laughs> All right. William or Bill? Uh, William. Okay. What's your name tag going to say? Will? Okay. All right. All right. Just to give you a little bit about uh, William, uh, he's retired from East Point uh, a year ago. Retired as uh, battalion chief. He is certified Fire One, Fire Two. He's also uh, a paramedic. Awesome. And he meets all the standards. Uh, we did run uh, a background check, and he did pass. Very good. That's fantastic. I, William, I ask everybody the same question. I don't know if they prepped you on it or not. <laughs> do, you, do you know how to swim? <laughs> okay, that's important. You still live in uh, East Point? Uh, no, sir, I live in Frazier. I moved out oh. of East Point okay. 10 years ago. I worked there, but I moved out. I moved out of Good city. You familiar with the area up here, with the uh, waterfront? How many miles of uh, shoreline do we have? Extremely familiar. We're 81 uh, square miles, but actually shoreline, Eagle told me we have 140 miles of shoreline with all the islands. It's a little trivia. You do any boating? Do I? I have. I don't own a boat or anything like that. Okay. Well, we're going to get you on the water. <laughs> we're going to get you on the water then. <clears throat> so how's your, how's your schedule? Are you, are you a flexible worker? Have you discussed that with Chief Rose? Yeah, we've already discussed that. I'm not flexible. Excellent. So he can plug you in where he needs you? That's fantastic. Thank you for your interest. Yes. I'll make a motion to uh, hire... Uh, William Savali, uh, part time for the Clay Township Fire Department. Support. Uh, motion support. Any other discussions? Hearing none. All, everyone that's all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Oppose. Thank you. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Sir. Thank thank you. you. <laughs> thank you, William. All right, next we have, um, uh, we have a clay interceptor change order. Um, what this is about, it's, um, we're, we're going through our, um, uh, all the paperwork to, uh, so we can accept the million dollar grant that we, we received through the EPA for this project. Part of it, you know, we had to put it off for bid under Davis-Bacon rules. Well, the contractor that we, we picked 
is under under the Davis Bacon wage rules, but his um, um, subcontractors were not. So we had to bring them. I had to get it requoted with the subcontractors uh, falling under the Davis Bacon rule. So it's a it's a change order of um, thirty five thousand dollars, as you can see, and. So we spend thirty-five thousand dollars more, but we get a million dollars back. Good return. Um, and uh, actually, once I sign, if, if we approve this, I sign it. They're ready to start uh, cleaning here in the next week or two. Yeah, uh, and 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 start doing the linings so of this project. So. They did add on there that this change order does not change the low bidder positioning, so that was good to know. Right, yep. Yeah. Yes, there's still the low bidder, uh, and now we had to clear that actually with the EPA too. So does um, Ira need to approve this as well? I think, I'm not sure if they did or not. I, I don't think so. Now we sp no, because it, we're, we're the main, main lead on it. But does this 35 get split between us and yes, Ira? Yes, it does. Is Ira aware of it? Yes, they are. Okay. Yep. Well, I will make a motion to approve the clay interceptor change order for the Davis Bacon inclusion for the amount of thirty-five thousand dollars. Support. Okay, we have motion of support. Any more discussion? So again, the summary is just it's all about prevailing wages, right? Yep. Yep. Exactly. That's what we're talking about. Yep. Thank you. What yeah, is this 12 pages? You didn't read it? That's because I, it's I, a federal I grant. Clipped it. Yeah, it's a, it's a federal uh, <laughs> grant we got through the EPA for the million bucks. So, and that's part of their, their stipulation. So, any more discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Artie Bryson? Yes. Christy Hilton? In. Yes. Chris O'Regan? Yes. Cindy Valentine? Yes. John DeBoyer? Yes. Maureen Borey? Yes. Mark Bouchard? Yes. Okay, motion passes. Moving right along, next we have another change order for the Playscape for $2,900.78. Uh, there is a problem with the asphalt that they were going to reuse part of it, and um, they couldn't. It was too brittle, old, and so they just had to put new asphalt in its place. Like I say, it was uh, twenty nine hundred seventy eight dollars sixteen cents, and I'm not one hundred percent sure, but I'm almost positive this will fall under the um, ARP or the Spark Grant, Spark that, grant? that we got. So if it well, let's let's do this. Board, I'll make a motion to approve the Park Playscape change order for the additional asphalt in the amount of $2,978.16. Support. Okay. So if the SPARC grant does not cover it, is it eligible for, say, ARPA funds? It's eligible for ARPA funds. Um, could be uh, covered in the DDA. Uh, we got all, all different types of alternatives. Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec. So who's going to make that decision? Well, let's, let's um, first see if it uh, falls under uh, the SPARC Spark grant. As a supplement? Yep. Okay. And if it doesn't, uh, do we want to make it? I mean, I can put it towards the, the DDA. Um, or do you just want to say, let's do it with ARPA? I just want a reporting on what bucket it's going to hit. Okay. All right. Well, That's all. I think... I would pro probably put it forward in front of the DDA first, and uh, if not, then we can. We got different uh, options: Parks and Rec, ARPA, General could even pay for it. Can we circle back to our next meeting and figure out which bucket yep. to hit? Yep. Fantastic. And uh, motion and support. Excuse mm -hmm. me. Have motion and support. Yep. Any more discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. All right, uh, DPW, we have a new hire for full-time utility to Rob Hunt. And I had the pleasure of meeting him last week. 
And I already asked him the question, <laughs> didn't I? Yes, I can swim. <laughs> and he can swim. So, uh, he's currently was or has been working for Comcast as an installer, yes. if I remember right. Yes. And uh, he's eager to start with us. Absolutely. Did I summarize that okay? Pretty much. Any questions? Should we put it out first? Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to approve DPW New Hire Full Time Utility 2, Rob Hunt. Support. Okay, we have motion to support. Any questions? Discussion? What did you do in the Navy? A builder. A what? Builder CB. Oh, okay. Cool. cool. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. He, so, um, Oh, I lost it. I was going to say something. So, did you so let, let, let's ask the porn. Are, are you good with this? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Uh, <laughs> also, he's a part-time school bus driver for. Oh, oh that's too. right. He, yeah. he drives a school bus part-time for Algonac too. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So Perfect. I thought we'd have to. <laughs> who cares? Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you're going to be full-time with us, so you're going to be giving up that job. Absolutely. And uh, how did you have quite a few applicants for this, Lance, or just pretty much, Rob? I pretty much picked through the applicants we had last time around. We're going to advertise again, but it's going to be for an operator. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is to replace uh, Joe that left us. Correct. And we're going to have someone, again, retire soon, Rob. And we're going to be looking for someone who, who can actually operate machinery. And hopefully we'll have an and an S license. So you didn't advertise, you just grabbed the applicants from last time? Yeah. Okay. And, um, yeah, so we'll have to start on that again. So we're going to have a bit of a turnover. Um, maybe we can send, uh, send Rob to uh, school to learn how to be an operator. Class that the union offers? Yeah. Good idea. Yeah, it's down in Texas, though. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> she said you can go. You gotta say that the art facility in Howell too. Howell too, yeah. Um, so uh, that would be good. Any other questions? Do we have a motion? Yes. Yes, motion okay. and support. All right. All in favor of hiring Rob Hunt full time as a. Full-time utility two worker or our DPW. Signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion passes. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, Rob. Welcome aboard. Okay, we have our media, meter pit antennas. Um, Total of $15,435. Didn't we buy these before? Yes, we did. Seems like we buy them all the time. <laughs> yes, we did. But as we're installing, there's ones that we're going to need. They're going to need some more antennas. So you're going to have to go back and replace the ones that aren't uh, operating. But I mean, well, no, this is for. Th those are extensions. This is yeah, for yeah. ones that yeah. have been. Put in that I didn't have antennas for. What's the lead time? I mean, it takes a while to get these, or they're telling me that supposedly since they put the new plan up in Georgia, that possibly a month. Oh, we're gonna find out. Good. Okay. So that's kind of similar to Chief Rose when Christy and I were looking at the budget. This puts right. that line over um, with the meter yokes, not by much, but a little bit. So if you want to. Also step in and we can try and figure out somewhere else within the department we can shift some things around. Okay. Yep. Did have that flagged. I'll make a motion to approve the DPW meter pit antennas in the amount of fifteen thousand four hundred thirty five dollars from line five ninety one seven forty six. Support. Okay, I have motion to support. Any more discussion? Hearing none, roll call please. Christy Helton. 
Yes. Chris O'Regan? Yes. Cindy Valentine? Yes. John DeBoyer? Yes. Maureen Borey? Yes. Mark Bouchard? Yes. Artie Bryson? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have resolution to set the fire mills millage. And again, this isn't changing. Um, it's going to be at 2.125 mills. Make a motion. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll make a motion to approve resolution 2024-27 to set the fire mills at 2.125. Support. Okay, we have motion and support. Any discussion? What was it last year? 2.125. Same. Hmm, thank you. What's the cap that it can go up to? 10 mills. 10 mills. 10, oh, just like police? Yep. Weren't you, I, I, I thought last year you had a discussion you wanted to move police down and fire up. Well, I, want, I, I said it would be great if we could have a full-time fire department on some people, so Harsons Island and this mainland could both be covered. Yeah, well, they are. Yeah. Being covered, so. We have full time mostly on the island now, right? And part time here? No, the, the whole department is part time. Right. But I mean, it is fully manned on the island now. Yes. From what, yeah. We're but not always fully manned on the. Yeah, you know, we are. Both sides? Yeah, we're 24 7. Okay, good. Fully staffed. Made it happen. Nice job, Chief. All right. Can't remember. Do it. Yeah, we have motion. Have motion support, Any more discussion? Sir. Hearing none, roll call. Chris O'Regan? Yes. Cindy Valentine? Yes. John DeBoyer? Yes. Maureen Borey? Yes. Mark Bouchard? Yes. Artie Bryson? Yes. Christy Hilton? Yes. All right, moving right along. Next we have the resolution 24-28, set the police millage. And again, that is staying the same. Make a motion to approve resolution 24 28 for adopting the police mills at 4.85 mills. Support. Motion to support. Any discussion? <coughs> Hearing none. Roll call, please. Cindy Valentine, yes. John DeBoyer? Yes. Maureen Borey? Yes. Mark Bouchard? Yes. Artie Bryson? Yes. Christy Hiltonen? Yes. Chris O'Regan? Yes. Motion passes. Uh, resolution 2024-29, set the garbage and refuge charges. I'll make a motion to approve resolution 2024-29 to set the garbage and refuse fees. It will be $172 on the winter tax bill for the mainland and Harsons Island areas of the township. And it will be $137 on the winter tax bill for the Russell Island and certain listed out islands. Long Island, basically. Yeah. They're cheaper there because they don't get curbside recycling. Support. Okay, mo motion and support. Any more discussion? Well, it says the uh, uh, tax bill will be 172 future special assessment not to exceed 180 so we, we have, have, a, have some we have a resolution giving us the right to, to we could go up to 180 if we wanted to okay. so this is no increase from right from there's no time. increase been frozen for 10 years now our garbage rates all right any more discussion Hearing none, roll call. John DeBoyer? Yes. <clears throat> Maureen Borey? Yes. Mark Bouchard? Yes. Artie Bryson? Yes. Christy Hiltonen? Yes. Chris O'Regan? Yes. Cindy Valentine? Yes. Motion passes. Next, 1L. Take oh. it away. Look at all heads, Chris. Oops. So, apologize for the late dump on you guys, but I put some you have requests for quotes out. Do you have a sample of the net? No, <laughs> I don't have a sample than that. Wow. So I think in order to increase um, play and, and really value add for the pickleball courts, which have a tremendous amount of 
uh, uh, people in play uh, throughout the week. What we talked about is um, coming up with a semi-transparent windscreen um, for the M29 fence line, which measures approximately nine foot eight tall by pretty close to 100 foot long. So I was able to get three bids and um, I wanted to talk to you fellow board members about honing in on specifically okay. transparent versus semi-transparent um, color and if I could request a do not exceed uh, approval then I'd like to get something ordered looks like the lead time on most of these is somewhere around three weeks um, it's something that as a pickleball <laughs> fan and talking to some pickleball players it seems that would benefit um, their court system and um, we have the three quotes from fence screen I believe is at like 782 uh, the NSP is close to 1111 and then the um, Perma screen 70 which is the email is uh, a do not exceed of like 900 plus shipping so oh, I see. Oh, go ahead, Chris. I'm just looking for I'm looking for input, and I'm, I'm would like to make a motion um, to select one of these contractors in a do not exceed type proposal. Which one are you recommending? The uh, the fence screen looks like it's a really nice company to work with. Um, that's the two pager. Uh, there's a nice picture on the back side. Um, is, it, is it translucent? Uh, this one is very limited translucent. Okay. The translucent is a, a higher grade polypro type material. Yeah. Um, it's kind of next level and it's going to cost us a couple hundred bucks more to go to that. Per panel? Total. Total, okay. Well, I, Total. I just, I mean, we looked at it before and I had feedback. And they're, they're talking about doing the whole thing too, not just the one end. But um, for security reasons and everything, they were a few people were nervous about having it totally blocked for vision. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be just on one side or two sides? Well, I, from the feedback, Mark, that I've that I've received, it, it's the river wind that comes yeah, in and affects right. the play. So I was hoping to get the river side covered. Um, and I think that should take care of 90% of the issues. Other than the uh, one that's shown here? Well, most suppliers that we're looking at have either black or green, with a couple of suppliers also have blue. I, I would vote for green. You would I've vote for blue, seen, green? I've seen that installed before and it looks pretty nice. How does the rest of feel, the board feel about green? I feel fine about green, but I see on the wind on the fence screen it says for high wind environments, adding wind vents is recommended. So we don't have any wind vents on this quote, right? We do not. But on the email quote, I do see that there are ten. Well, vents. that's also the the first one that's a little that's not as transparent because if you look on the next one, it is that Chris had said costs a little bit more. It says the material is a vented open mesh. That allows air to pass through while still offering privacy. Yeah, and if we're looking for a semi-transparent, then I would suggest we lean towards the NSP or the Permascreen, because both of those products are a, uh, a semi-transparent wind block. Well, we don't have anything from the. I don't have anything one. from the Permascreen. fence screen, as far as. Uh, so if we went with one of these, what, uh, with shipping and everything, what are you estimating? Well, I think... To be covered yourself. So the NSP looks like it's the Cadillac, and I, and, and I have not attempted to negotiate, and I'm right. pretty good at negotiating. So I would like to, to believe that we can get this for a thousand bucks or less. Total. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it installation, we're going to put it up. I'll put it up. We would. I got a little team. Uh, nine foot? Uh, nine eight. Mm -hmm. 
Um, well, the custom, the one size is 9.8. Oh, I see 9.8, yeah. Yeah, the NSP is a nine footer. So they don't, NSP doesn't do nine, I mean a custom. So we'd probably leave the last foot um, open if we went with the NSP. If we went with the perma screen, it'd be 9.8. It'd be as exactly as tall as the fence. So does the NSP offer colors other than black? Uh, yes, I they also have a green. Okay. I don't know if they have a blue. Um, well, for this kind of money, I would hate to spend $800 and have it not be right. worthy from the wind rather than going with something a little bit more premium that specifically says um, taller fences in windy areas. So. Are we worried about weight on the fence? No. Not worried about it. Okay. No, I don't think that's an issue. Talking about a snow pack on it? Yeah. No, I believe this is something we could probably take down. Right. When we put it up this year? Zip ties. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you bet. Kasner said he would help. Well, Hunter, did you? Uh, I, I think 1200 um, I, I think we'd be pleasantly surprised we'd come in underneath that. I'll make a motion not to see $1,200 for windscreen of Trustee O'Regan's choice. Um, Do you want to specify a color? I like the blue, but it, we'll make it your choice. I like the green. And the uh, it would come out of our. What the court? Huh? What color is the court? <laughs> blue. Like blue. Courts are blue. Yeah. Blue and darker blue or? Blue. Yeah. Blue, blue, blue and darker blue, 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 blue and the outside is green. Oh. So. We usually, spend, we usually spend more time on these kinds of decisions than <laughs> we do anything else. I knew you were going to have a lot of questions. But, That's uh, I wanted to kind of round table. But, uh, and, and my, my motion would, it would be come out of ARPA funds. I think the um, green would be nice, sp specifically because it's in the park. Yeah. And wouldn't blend I'm in with, with the. One. Wouldn't blend in with the. Maybe put some do you have a color state. preference? Green's good. Green. green. Mark? Green. Hardy? Go State. <laughs> That's majority. Green it is. So, you want a logo on it? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll support Artie's motion. Well, you know, and Mark brought up a point. You know, we, we could do some advertising sponsorships on this. Absolutely. There are companies that yep. that embroider and also emboss right the back of these things. So. It reminded me, it, well, I was thinking about it when you were talking about LJ's wings. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, we, we, we are talking about hanging a, a set of wings on the um, on the court. Uh, Fantastic. The court. Huh? We could incorporate it. Yeah. yeah. So. So we have motion and support? We do. Yeah. Any more discussion? Hearing none. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, board. Uh, next, we have board member comments. Cindy, you want to start us off? Sure. I just want to say thank you to everyone that came out tonight. Um, congratulations and welcome to William and Rob. Hoping for a successful fundraiser for LJ at the Detroit Zoo this coming weekend. What is it? I think it's Sunday at the zoo. Uh, yeah. yeah. September 22nd. Yep. And absentee ballots, I'm expecting to have available to be mailed out September 30th or October 1st. We've had a lot of people call and asking about it. Um, they just approved the ballots today from the, from the county, so they go to the printer, and when we get them from the printer, we got to put them all together and get them out. So we're a little bit away yet, a few weeks. You hear some. All right. John? Yeah, just um, congratulations and welcome to uh, William Savell and Rav Hunt. Welcome aboard. Okay, Maureen. Same thing, William, the Eagle Scout, and, and Rob. And then don't forget about the fall cleanup this weekend, um, 21st and 22nd. Yeah. Uh, congratulations to William and Rob. Uh, welcome aboard. Uh, planning uh, commission is canceled for this, uh, for... October, however, we will be having a, uh, joint. a joint meeting on the 25th. Uh, that's with the ZBA, Planning Commission, and Planners. Yep. Thank you. Chris, got a PSA? No PSA today, but I would like to 
uh, offer up uh, a congratulations. I had the privilege of supporting a few local events last week. Um, on Thursday, um, I attended the Sinclair Flats Waterfallers annual oh, yeah. dinner. It was their 18th annual at Zucaro's, and they had over 800 uh, people attend the event. Um, so Jeff and Stewie and Brian Trepp and all the guys from Sinclair Flats that run that, uh, as well as the Lions Club, who are our big event sponsors there, uh, thank you for putting on an outstanding dinner. Um, secondly, had the opportunity to, and privilege to support the Clay Township Police Officers Association, the Algonac Rotary Golf Outing, which is held out at Rattle Run Golf Course on Friday, September 13th. Uh, the event was well attended. We had a beautiful day, and um, I with, wish both organizations uh, much luck, and it looks like they, they did well on turnout. So that's all I have. Great. Christy? Um, congratulations to our new hires. Also a reminder that today was summer tax due date. <laughs> um, but there's still time if you haven't paid your taxes. She you gets can all the fun ones. Use the drop boxes. Uh, you can pay your bill online or you can pay it over the phone and all of that information to do that can be found on the website. Thank you. Um, congratulations to Rob and William. Uh, we want you guys to succeed, so if you need anything or any issues or something, please let me know or somebody know, And because you know we want you to succeed here. Makes our job a lot easier when, when that happens. Uh, I just want to mention, you know, we got so many positive things going on in this community. It's, it's amazing, you know, I just, was writing stuff down. We got the playground uh, equipment going in, just minus the bike repair kiosk. Um, the Blue Bill Bridge is uh, is going outstanding. Uh, the LG Wheel project on the island, you know, for the um, state of the art treatment plant. This is going to be the first one in the state of Michigan, LG plant that treats water using algae. But it was really cool about it. It's going to be the first wastewater treatment plant in the country to capture carbon credits in the whole country. Uh, we're still working on uh, uh, the grant for the Harsons Island Nature Park. I should be hearing something like really quick on that. Painting the county tower, I think they did a great job. And uh, the county park, they're going to start, they, they, they told me a couple months ago they were going to start in October or uh, September, but they told me the contracts are showing up in October. Uh, for our new county beach park and the uh, sewer lining project to uh, take care of our inflows and our and help our wastewater treatment plan out. That's going to be starting soon too. So just a lot of really good things going on. So I like to commend the board and everything to making it happen. Other than that, enjoy the beautiful weather we're having. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Thanks for coming. Support. Yep.